You know, we're so lucky to live in an area where there's so many wonderful actors who perform every week right here in our area. And at Savannah Repertory Theater, well, many of those actors take to the stage and they enjoy it so much. Well, to make it even better, there's a lot of professional actors who come specifically here to perform at Savannah Rep. That's because it's a professional theater company led by artistic director Ken Haley. They put on many productions, festivals, special events, and even educational programs. And not only that, now they're located on the east side of Savannah in the old Dollhouse Productions building on Industry Drive. Savannah Repertory Theater has gone a long way to fill the void that Muse Arts Warehouse has left. Okay, so now they're gearing up for their latest productions. One of my favorites, Pump Boys and Dinettes. You know, it first ran back in 1982. It was also nominated for a Best Musical Tony, also a Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Musical. You know, one of the best things about Savannah Rep's production of Pump Boys and Dinettes? Well, the man who originally wrote it and starred in it will be sitting right there in the audience. Do you want to know why? because he calls Tybee Island home. When it comes to a rollicking good time on stage, you can't do better than a production of Pump Boys and Dinettes. Come on, let's close up the double cup. But Uncle Bob's out there waiting for his pie now. We well, get this. Uncle Bob can get his own pie. He knows where it is, and he knows what it is. A mixture of rockabilly, country, and pop, Pump Boys and Dinettes had a great run on Broadway, but it took a little time to catch on. Author and original star of the musical, Jim Wan, talks about those early days. We were a band before we were a show. Uh, the band was initially just me and the piano player, and we were playing a, a five nights a week gig at the Cattleman Restaurant Lounge. Um, over in one of the dark blocks near Grand Central where nobody goes after dark. But someone did want to be there, and the crowd kept getting bigger and bigger. So much so that they wrote an entire show around the music they played every night. It just kind of grew as a goof. But songs began to be written, and then by and by uh, we got a, another couple of guys to join our band and we toured a little bit. My wife at that time, Cass Morgan, and one of her great friends, Debbie Monk, were writing uh, a, a show about women who, sisters who ran a diner. And the rest is Broadway history. Now, Pump Boys and Dinettes has made its way to the Savannah Repertory Theater. Actor Ryan McCurdy is thrilled to take on the role Jim Wan originated all those years ago in this amazing show. And there's a good reason for that. So Pump Boys and Dinettes was actually the first actor musician show on Broadway. It was the first time that anyone on Broadway saw someone playing their own instrument. And that is now a major part of the Broadway market. So it's, it's somewhere between this beautiful country music review and uh, a story about these six people who are all in a really tiny place, but they love where they are, they love each other, and it's sort of storytelling about who they are, uh, what they're doing, how they interact with one another, and the bigger world outside. And every single person on stage gets several opportunities to tell their side of the story. Great music, great storytelling, and a good time had by all. That's what the Savannah Repertory Theater is all about. It's going to be a great production. Now remember, Pump Boys and Dinettes, you can get your tickets at savannahrep.org. And remember, it runs through May 13th.